Hey everybody, Goose and Sir Dummies here, back at it again with another video, and today I am going to be reviewing One Night in Pain House. Now this book is actually my first special edition review for the GYG series, and um, yeah, it's just another Black Spine. Um, since I am reviewing a Black Spine a month for now until I get into less books to review besides Black Spines, which shouldn't be extremely long. Yeah, um, One Night in Pain House, I like the pun immediately, the pun in the title, pain, window pain, instead of literal feeling of pain. I think it's funny. I actually really, really like that title with the pun and stuff. The book itself is actually quite well liked. And while it's not a lot of people have read it, I know like four people personally who have read this, I believe. There are, you know, there's many reviews on Goodreads and websites and probably out there somewhere on YouTube. Yeah, overall, what I've heard is extremely positive reception, and that this is one of, if not the best UIG of all time. Does it live up to that hype, in my opinion? Let's find out. And now for the blurb. Talk about being in the doghouse. Pretty rough pun there. It's Halloween and you've just taken the ultimate challenge. You've entered the town's most horrifying haunted house, Pain House. So ready or not, you've got exactly one chance to survive. All the other paths point to the end, which is the mechanic of this special edition. Your end, because roaming through Pain House is a giant dog beast who wants to put a choke chain leash on you. Not to mention the drooling tongue thing that's having a major snack attack. The choice is yours in this scary Goosebumps adventure. It's packed with over 20 super spooky endings, but only one way out. Oh, scary. <laughs> And actually, it is quite scary. This is one of the most thrilling and honestly, dare I say it, frightening GYGs. There are some disturbing things in here. For this, like, ooh, creepy dog, barking ghost, but less good type cover art. And I still like this. It's like an actually decent cover art. It's not for this book, I feel. This book is actually really scary. And, um... It's also really good. <laughs> yeah, Pain House pretty much lives up to the hype. I also think it might be a little overrated, just a little. It is still extremely good, and I really like this book, and it's easily a top 10 GYG for me as I speak. Yeah, let's get to my uh, positives. And now for the upside, starting off with what I already mentioned. This book is scary. Yeah, scary good fun too. There are some frightening things in here. All right, the main the main thing right here, the first thing you encounter, the dog, the giant dog, which looks like a mix of Garfield and Odie because he has the orange, but it also looks like Odie, but it looks like Garfield's a dog because it's so fucking, it's, it's fat. <laughs> what you're seeing here is actually the real size of the dog compared to the house. It's not just a zoom in, it's not an exaggerated shot. That's the dog's size compared to what is the porch back there. It's pretty darn big. Uh, not very scary, because it barely shows up, I remember. But there's also other things. There's this tongue creature, which is really nasty. It kind of reminds me of the entity that was revealed at the end of that one Haunting Hour episode, The House, if you know that one. Where, you know, <laughs> there's some tentacles. Well, it isn't really tentacles, it's limbs or, you know, eyeballs or, well, the tongue attaches. So it's so nasty, in a good way, of course. There's a scary kitchen scene, I believe there's a lot of bugs involved. There's an awesome shrunken head sequence. I don't know if it's a shrunken head, but it's like a screaming head. That It kind of looks like the shrunken head, I believe. That's why I'm drawing that comparison. And that's pretty scary. There is some floor stuff about maybe not being very stable, I believe. I believe that's a library section. And there's also some neat little references to even it out from being overly terrifying, but kind of cute. There's a monster mash sequence. Yeah, there's some you know, there's monsters dancing. It's just like, wow, it's pretty, pretty nice. And it's not overly terrifying all the time, but it has its scary bits. And the Pain House itself is an awesome setting. I really like it. It was bound to happen, but there'd be a Haunted House GYG, and it just turned out that it was time. I think twice, because I believe there's another one. There's two. Uh, Escape from Horror House, which I'm yet to read, which is very similar looking to this. But yeah, very scary and very thrilling, intense GYG. Um, there's not a lot to be said past that big upside. The, it's what makes up for most of the book. There's some great endings here. Lots of great deaths and ways you go out that aren't pleasant but fun to read, of course. And yeah, um, 
overall endings are pretty solid. There's only one ending I hate in here. Like, I genuinely remember hating. It's the most distinct because it's a certain ending that is advertised. The good ending. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Endings are all good here, pretty much, overall. Really, really solid endings. And with this whole creepiness factor, the scary moments, and this awesome setting, this awesome story about escaping pain house, with all these fun little games or, you know, mechanics and, of course, ways to get around stuff, these options and stuff. It just accumulates for a very fun time, and I had a blast with this book, and I was sleep deprived when I read it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Pain House is really darn good. It was not what we said distinctly upside-wise, but yeah, it's overall just a really fun, thrilling, really engaging read. It has one issue, though. We'll get this out of the way, this doesn't take off as much as it actually does, because it only takes off 0.5. It's, an, it's a 0.5 lower than what the score would actually be because it's not perfect. Just letting y'all know, in case you're doing math here. No, I can rate books that have like no issues if they're just not perfect, like an 8 out of 10. Which is not the score, it's the same. Um, I already said this, but the good ending. Now, I would just be like, okay, whatever, but... The good ending is horrible. Man, it kind of pisses me off. Um, it's not a good ending. Yeah. Um, it is not even a good ending, which is like, fuck you. I'm not... I'm like, I'm, I'm all for dark endings, but... There's like 25 endings in here, and none of them are good. It's just kind of... Not exactly repetitive, because it's fun. It's just like, you're going to advertise a good ending, at least make it a good ending. Because, like... A, it's not a good ending, and B, you don't get a happy ending with this good ending. Um, and it's a bad ending, it's kind of stupid. Basically, escape pain house by, uh, descending out of a window, I think. And, uh, you get, you go right back in. Yeah, for dumb reason, I shall not discuss, you go back in. Mmm. It's just a pile of shit ending. <laughs> and... It, it only deducts 0.5, accumulated with all the other, you know, lesser good endings and bad endings, of course. But, of course, it ain't a perfect book at the end of the day, even without those. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it still, just that good ending is... Alright, let's get to my rating. I give this book a 9 out of 10. It is borderline the best UIG. Borderline. It doesn't quite reach there, but I think it's actually currently in my top five. There's not a lot of GYGs that absolutely blow me away, but thanks to specifically the scary factor of this book, how many frightening moments there are in here that are above average, yeah, it really accumulates to be one of the most standout GYGs in all of, well, give yourself goosebumps. I love this book. I don't think it's amazing, but I love it. It is a really, really, really good read, and I highly recommend it, especially for a Halloween read, which is why I'm doing it. By the way, I didn't, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it was in the blurb. This is a Halloween book. So, yeah, if, it, if you're looking for an October GYG that's not insanely expensive, albeit this is like 40 bucks. <laughs> sure could trip, I'm talking about. And you've already read, like, all the other, like, kind of Halloween GYGs, and there you go. There's, there's a nice GYG for you. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, tell me what you think about this book below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.